Hello my friends, my name is Gene Arnold from Regular Guy Mountain Biking and in this video we're going to be taking a look at a different type of bike. All right folks, let's just jump right into things. This is the Miyogo NX folding e-bike. This was sent to me as a pre-release for review and honestly I've been having an absolute blast reviewing this bike and uh, I want to tell you all about it. One of the reasons why I wanted to review this bike is I found that a bike like this might be a great way to include a lot of your friends and family members in your riding, especially if you want to do camping or you'll see that I, I use this around, around the house, around the lake community. It's a bike that other people can jump on really easy and ride with you where normally right, they might not be able to and you want to include your, your significant others, your friends, your family in your riding, but they might not be able to. right? Um, they might not be at the same riding level as you are. This is a way of including them in the fun. So here's how we'll handle this review. First thing we'll do is take a look at the specs of the bike. Then we'll take a look at some riding footage. And then we'll just do a few, like a wrap up and final thoughts of the bike. Okay, my friends, let's take a look at the specs of the Miyogo NX folding e-bike. So let's start things off with the frame. This frame is built out of magnesium and it is designed that way to keep the weight down but of course keep the frame very strong. As I mentioned this is a folding e-bike it's pretty easy to do you undo the latch and that folds the bike in half that's also where you put the battery this bike comes with two and then you can fold the bike completely in half. Now to drop the handlebars this also has another little latch you just undo the small little switch and the entire set of handlebars folds down nicely. The wire management keeps everything nice and neat. It's actually really easy to fold up. The pedals actually fold up as well to really keep the bike compact, right? So you can fold those pedals up and tuck them inside. When folded up, it looks like this. And it even has a small wheel on the bottom to help roll this bike around when it's folded. Since multiple riders will probably be using this bike, there are some other easy adjustments. The seat goes up and down very easily and has a gauge on it so you can remember where you set it at. Same thing with the handlebars. The handlebars can be raised up and down really easy. And again, another gauge so you can remember your settings. Time to take a look at the cockpit. On the right hand side, you'll find your throttle as well as a seven speed Shimano shifter to uh, get you moving. That shifter is going to shift the drivetrain with a 52 tooth front ring and a seven speed cassette in the back. On the left hand side, you've got your display, a 2.4 inch display. This will control the electronics of the bike. Uh, this will also turn on the front light and the rear light if you just hold that button in. Kind of cool and easy to use. You can also pair this with your phone, which will help you with navigation when you're riding around. For stopping power, this bike's equipped with some really sweet hydraulic brakes, and the brakes are also tied into the electronics. So when you do, you know, put on the brakes, you'll see the brake light go on as well. Kind of neat feature. As for wire and cable management, uh, these folks really did a great job. To help smooth out your ride, the bike is equipped with a front spring shock with some controls on the uh, right leg. Also some 20 inch 4.0 front and rear tires and a nice big soft squishy seat. So those are a few of the specs of the Miyogo NX folding e-bike. I'll cover some more during the riding footage as well. Riding this e-bike is super easy, right? You've got the, uh, the throttle you can use to get yourself going. It's got pedal assist. You can also control all kinds of settings on whether it's just pedal assist or just throttle. You can even control how fast the bike starts and whether the throttle even kicks in, whether you're pedaling or not. The, the controls on this bike are really pretty cool. As for riding distance, let's cover that right now. The bike comes with two batteries. Okay, so the battery range is 60 to 80 miles. Certainly depends on riding conditions. I live in a very hilly community. If you use just the throttle alone, you're gonna have less mileage. And that mileage is based on using both batteries. Okay, so again, two batteries come with this bike. To hit the range that they're expecting you to hit, you'll need to use both of those batteries. 
As for speed, I was told that you could hit around the 28 mark. I'll be honest, I was kind of hovering around the uh, low to mid 20s, but I don't have a complaint with that because I was going up and down a lot of hills. I thought it worked pretty well. In fact, right now you can see I'm riding right up the hill with throttle only, and I'm, I'm kind of cooking along. So as far as speed goes with this bike, I really don't have any complaints. It's got a lot of pep and definitely got me around without a problem at all. Now before I wrap up the riding footage, I do want to let you know that the price and the link to this bike will be in the description below. Right, just in case things change over time, I want to make sure that the video is accurate. So I'll keep all the pricing and the links to this bike in the description below. So this final little piece of video over here, I started cooking down a hill, having a lot of fun. It's a very stable bike to, to ride. Now I'm going to be pedaling up a pretty big hill. I mean, this is a pretty big long hill. You can kind of see, I mean, I am climbing up a hill right now. And you do have to pedal. But what I found is even with pedaling, the bike has so much power that uh, during the, the climb, it actually, I had to actually shift shift to a higher gear, right? A faster gear because my feet were just spinning out. This bike's got a lot of power, a lot of punch. It was so much fun to ride and uh, I just had a blast on it. All right, my friends, those are the specs. That was the riding footage. Let's wrap this thing up. I wanna give you the pros and the cons. The pros, not an expensive bike, especially for the quality of the bike that you get. Uh, definitely uh, definitely a, a lot of value in the, um, the purchase, right? So I definitely think that is certainly a pro. Um, the fun factor, I mean, my goodness, <laughs> I'm having a blast riding this bike. It is so much fun, so much fun to ride. It's also going to be really easy to take with you on your trips. So as far as, again, value to cost, you're right there where you want to be. Okay. Um, a few cons, right? These bikes, even though this bike is certainly um, noted as being a bit lighter than some of the other bikes, it's still, it's still not super light, right? So just be careful when you try to move it around and pick it up. Um, the folding is an awesome feature but it'll take a little bit of getting used to. I don't think this is the type of bike that you're gonna fold every day and just put it away after you're done. It's, it's a great feature. You can fold it up if you'd like. Um, fold it up, put it in your car, take it to the trip, and then you would leave it connected for the whole trip. I don't see you taking it apart and often other than opening it up, possibly if you wanna stick in the other battery, but it does have that charging port where you actually don't have to if you just wanna charge it up. But just wanna make you make you aware of that. I did talk a little bit about the actual app for the phone and kind of was a little buggy right now, but I checked. They did say that that is part of the pre-release. The app will be upgraded when the product, the bike is actually released. So I'm going to leave that aside and not really make that a con right now because I was actually not able to test the final release of the software. I just want to be fair. All in all, I really don't have a whole lot of cons though. Right, just those, just those couple things. The bike was so easy to put together. It's so much fun to ride. It's not that expensive. The only other problem I probably have with the bike is that everyone else wants to use it and I'm not gonna get any time on it myself. It's a great value. I definitely recommend it. Again, this is the uh, Miyogo NX and uh, it's definitely worth checking out if you're looking for a bike, a bike like this. Keep the party on the pedals, my friends, and I'll catch you in the next video.